Sea cucumbers are very important to small island developing states. Not only are they important for the environment, but they are also important for remote communities who rely on the income from harvesting these resources. My particular expertise um, relates to um, restocking, uh, fisheries assessment, socioeconomics. I've done a fair bit of work on the trade of these animals, uh, including uh, visits to China, which is the main import destination for the sea cucumbers. So this is my, my first uh, opportunity to participate in one of the panels. Uh, I think the procedure was quite clear uh, and FAO provided us with guidelines of the process and um, how the evaluations and um, assessment of the proposal um, is supposed to, to run. Initially it was uh, working with village people on the, their fishing activities with regards to uh, sea cucumber stocks and assessing access arrangements within those village communities and such. And then I moved into more formal um, stock assessment work and then fisheries management policy advice on sea cucumber fisheries in mainly in Melanesia but in other parts of the Pacific as well. My contribution to evaluating the proposal is on several levels because I'm um, a little bit more multidisciplinary these days so looking at the stock density uh, information, looking at some of the trades. My background with sea cucumbers is working particularly on trade issues so I've worked in Southeast Asia looking at coastal livelihoods of people involved in capture and trade of sea cucumbers and more recently uh, in the consumer markets in East Asia. The foundational questions um, that were, were faced regards, uh, is regarding the uh, productivity of the species and the rates of decline of the species within their distributional ranges. Um, we're also interested in understanding and um, painting a good picture about the utility of CITES and um, how that can, uh, CITES listing uh, might be able to be implemented. The main issues I think with uh, this process of uh, responding to the proposal is basically the lack of information that is available, particularly with uh, density data and um, also some of the uh, trade statistics. I think one of the main challenges is a lot of the information on sea cucumbers relates to um, the, the class uh, um, as, a, as a whole and um, we're having to dig very deep into the literature to find specific information about these three species and I think that's a key with this assessment is not to um, um, be confused with uh, data from other species but we're really just focusing on these three species. The trade statistics for example uh, can be highly variable uh, and particularly a lot of the trade information is easily available for sea cucumbers generally but down to specific species level can be uh, very tricky. The mako sharks are fished in industrial fisheries, whereas the sea cucumbers are fished in artisanal and small-scale fisheries. Um, the animals are very different as well. There's more um, data available, fisheries data on mako sharks, and there's a lot, lot less specific um, fisheries uh, data on these particular species of sea cucumbers. Experience with previous listings of species uh, or marine species uh, in CITES Appendix 2 is variable, I think. Uh, there's been some positive effects for conservation, some negative effects for conservation, and also a whole complicated range of governance and social impact issues that uh, also potentially follow on from a CITES listing. We've also been trying to get inputs from people remotely, so for example in East Africa. Some of the key um, important parts of, uh, of uh, arriving at a consensus is a common understanding of the process and um, a, an agreement about the, the data, the quality of data that's used and how that data should be presented. Everyone brings a range of different expertise and experiences. I think uh, consensus is, is easy.